This story begin in Muna Island, South East Sulawesi. Muna human use rock as their food and using dried banana leaf as clothes. The people of Muna tribe can hunt large animal using a tool such as a spear made of serpent bamboo. Once upon a time, one of them was walking in the forest. Suddenly, he saw a type of plant whose fruit is rather long. Then he picked it and cooked it at home. He served it and enjoyed the food together with his family. They called the food Watasau. One day, the Portuguese set foot in Muna Island. They broke with the same food like Watasau but that was raw food. The plant was in the form of corn and the rice serpent of the seed was King Muna Kaindia. King Muna was the one who initiated farming. Muna residents tried to plant it. At the time of harvesting this corn, residents felt that this corn was delicious to eat. So from then on, corn spread widely throughout the archipelago. Until now, we can enjoy it today. The city of Pati is famous for the motto, Pati Bumi Minatani, where Mina means fisheries and Tani means agriculture. One of the abundant agriculture product in Pati is corn, which has an area of 29,000 hectares with a total production of 182,000 tons and average production of 64 quintals every hectare. However, so far only corn seeds are used. This causes a lot of corn cobs to be thrown away and become waste that is very disturbing to the environment. Mr. Anu Adi, 50 years old, a craftsman from Sari Rejosau, this opportunity. He has a shop in their house Sari Rejo Kamiripati. He turns corn cobs into craft products that are beautiful and half word selling with less cost production. Pesan untuk generasi muda, janganlah hanya ingin menjadi karyawan atau bekerja di perusahaan, tetapi lihatlah alam di sekitarmu. Lihat contohnya ini, jungle jagung yang biasanya dibuang dapat menjadi barang yang mempunyai nilai ekonomi. Karena sebaik-baiknya manusia adalah manusia yang bisa berguna untuk lingkungan dan masyarakat di sekitarnya.